hello guys welcome to the channel my name is femi john and in this video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a button hover effect and also a loading animation in figma this is possible with the use of interactive components which is basically the interaction between variants of a component set we are going to start by creating the loader itself then we are going to go ahead to create our button and then fit the loader in the button so let's dive right in okay um i've created my ad board with just a basic um frame on it what i want to do is i want to create a different frame where i'm going to be putting the loader in um i'm just going to give it a specific width and height you can give it any size you want Next will be to fit our circle in the frame um, which is going to be used to, to create our loader. So I'm just going to draw the circle and fit it in the middle of the frame. The next thing will be to hold on this dot called arc and sweep it a little down. Um, then we would want to click on the ratio in the middle of the circle and nudge it out a little bit to create something like this then next i want to increase the radius to 100 so it gives me this curve edges for the loaders i hope you guys are really understanding this okay so from here i want to add our colors i'm going to use the angular gradient and i'm going to pick the my preferred color from the color panel I also want to switch the positions of my gradient colors so that I can easily position um, it to what I want and this is exactly what I'm looking for um, a gradient that starts from the top and fits at the tail of the loader I'm also going to duplicate the frame 7 more times to create 8 instances of the frame. After highlighting all frames, I'll hit K on the keyboard so that I can adjust the size of all the elements in the frames equally. This is a shortcut key I use all the time if you want to scale multiple selected elements equally. You hit K on the keyboard and you scale them, you can click on the shape tool and try to draw another shape out to revert that action. From the second frame, I'm also going to start rotating the loaders to a particular degree. The first one will be minus 45, the next will be minus 90 and it's going to range just like that till it gets to 45 degree. You can also choose to do yours differently and of course it doesn't have to be 8 frames just like the way I did here. But if you're looking to achieve a clockwise rotation just like this, I recommend you use these exact figures as it's going to enable you to achieve the exact effect that I got. So guys, um, I'm done setting the degrees of all the loaders, next I'm going to highlight all the frames, click on the component icon and create component sets. This creates a component set with 8 variants for us. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on the first one, switch to prototype mode and I'm going to connect the dots to the next frame. Um, I'm going to use an after delay effect. I'm going to set it to one millisecond, um, and our animation will be 
smart animates i'm going to set it to 100 millisecond and i'm going to set the animation type to linear so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing for all the interaction between all the frames so that the transition is smooth and equal Okay guys, after completely setting up all the interaction between the variants in your component, the next thing I want to do is to bring in the instance of our component into our board so that we can preview our prototype. So this is the result of what we just did. I hope you guys understood the process. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What's next will be to create a hover button and fit our loader in the button. So back to our board, to create a button we could easily use the auto layout but I'm going to use just a frame, I'm going to use a frame to create our button because I want to have a custom animation for our button. Using an auto layout for our button is going to limit how much we animate the hover effect but I wanted to create something different so I decided to go with a frame so I'm just going to write out the name of the button on the frame next I'm going to create a circle which is what we'll be using for our over effect I'm going to create a circle and reduce the size to make it as small as possible. I'm going to fit the circle at the center of our frame and I'm also going to position the layer under the button text. And also remove the fill. I'm also going to go ahead and duplicate our button frame but this time I want to click on the circle and I'm going to scale it up both the width and height to 300 I'm going to scale it up so that I can get the hover effect now I'm going to position the scaled up circle to the center of the second instance of our button frame And one more time, I'm going to duplicate our button frame and I'm going to rename this to loading. This is supposed to give us the effect we get when we click on a button and it's loading. So what's next is to take the instance of our loading animation and put it in 
our loading button but as you can see there is a white fill on our frame so i'm going to select all the frames and i'm going to remove the white fill to have a transparent background i'm also going to hit k on the keyboard and scale all components down so that i can reduce the size and it's going to fit into our loading button i'm also going to change the color to white the color of our gradients to white so that it can have a good contrast with our loading button after this i'm going to take the instance of our loader and put it inside our button frame so we can achieve something that looks more like the final design now i'm going to select all our button frames i'm going to click on the component icon and click on create component set i'm also going to go ahead and add a drop shadow effect so it looks more like what we have in our final design next is to animate the variance of our components so for the first animation i'm going to prototype to the second button i'm going to use a wild hovering effect and i'm going to set it to smart animate i'm going to do something similar for the second over button but this time i'm going to use an on click effect so once you click on the hover button we can see our loading button the next thing to do will be to bring the instance of our button into our frame i'm also going to go ahead to add a stroke to all the buttons and now we have something similar to the final design so guys this is the final design so as you can see the animation seems different as the circle in the middle scales up and down while hovering and when you click on it we have a loading button so thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're interested in things like this click on the like button and subscribe so that you get notified of my next video thank you